Hard Talk. Um, this week hasn't been like much of a you know good news week. And some shit has happened, so we can talk about that. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is YD and all my EJ. Um, a few weeks ago, well, a few days ago, my bad. He was robbed in New York City, jumped, he got chased, snatched, ended up cutting his face open. That's pretty fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Because he didn't really have no security on him, so you know, at that point he was real vulnerable. So niggas took that, <laughs> they took that and held that to their advantage and jumped this nigga. But a few days later, he up, he running, you know, letting it pull him down. He shot a music video, and you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, 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 won't, I won't hold you. I'm, I'm glad that he, that he, you know, recovered and getting better, cause. So much shit like that happens, um, so much shit be happening like that, cause niggas just be hating, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, I just don't know what it is, but that, that, that's fucked up. But, you know, next topic. Yes, Jules versus Joe Budden, Scotty B, and Karen Civil. Um, so, Yes, Jules. I don't really know who she is. I don't know what she really does, you know what I'm saying? But she had an interview, let alone a controversial interview, um, you know, talking about a lot of shit. She was talking shit about Joe Budden, Sonny Bean, Karen Civil, since Santana. Like, she was talking a lot of shit about people. She tried to expose Joe Budden for wanting to take her out to dinner. And then she said that Joe Budden lied on her by saying that she got her ass done. And then she tried to expose Joe Budden by saying he was trying to return a pair of sweatpants that he already wore in an Instagram picture. Like, I... Look, he already talked about that on the podcast, so like, I don't, we're not really exposing him for much, so, you know, but, you know, good that you tried. She also said that Scotty B and Kara Civil feels that she should not be in a certain position in the culture. What position you're in, I, I, I don't really, I don't really know, you know what I'm saying, I don't, I, I, I don't know shorty, so like, I don't. I don't know what position she holds in our culture. I don't know why people are making her feel like she has a voice in our culture. But you know, it is what it is. But Scotty, she replied, you know, on Twitter in a very professional manner. In a very professional but assertive manner. Man, I love Scotty. Uh, I don't know if y'all know this. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I fucking love Scotty B. That's just what it is. Um, and anybody who has anything negative to say, bro, I want all smoke. I want all smoke behind her name, bro. That's it. That's it, bro. Like, you ain't gonna come at Scotty. But my thoughts on that is, um, first of all, like I said, I don't know Shorty, but she's very problematic. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I hear her, it's something negative. She did her freestyle. That was the first time I heard her, it was that freestyle. She's talking about some, my ass is fat, my skin ain't black. Like, but then she posted up on Twitter a t-shirt that she wanted to wear that said nigga on it. And I'm like, you're, 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 you're this, you're this. Can't say nigga. And then, and then she's like, I'm not a culture vulture, I'm not a culture vulture. Yes, you are. Like, <laughs> yes, you are. I don't understand why people always want to capitalize off our culture and wear it just because it's accessible to them and because it looks good to them. They want to capitalize off of it and they want to, you know, push it to the forefront and they want to use it to add to use it to their advantage to get people of our, you know, kind of to support them. But they don't really want to stand in that in all situations in all shades. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't understand why motherfuckers be enabling people who aren't of our kind to capitalize off our shit, but don't really want to defend it and speak for certain shit when it's time. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily saying that she does that, because I don't know what the fuck she does, I don't even know who the fuck she is, but it just seems, she just gives me culture vultures vibes, you know what I'm saying? So that's what that is. And another thing, the niggas who was in that interview, bro, they, that's whack, you know what I'm saying? Like, how y'all gonna sit up there and let a non-colored woman sit up here and talk about two black women who who, who are very, who, who are for us, for us, you know what I'm saying? Especially, 
Come on, bro. Especially Scotty. You know what I'm saying? Especially Scotty. And he was like baiting her into just like saying their names and shit like that. And he was just, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about in the fucking interview. He kept fucking trying to bait her and to say more shit and talk about certain people, bro. Like, and I feel like that's a bad whack of you, bro. You got people like Scotty who uses her platform to uplift our kind, you know what I'm saying, on a daily. And you allow somebody to like talk shit and say to her name, and, you know what I'm saying, just speak negatively of her, you know what I'm saying, like you allow that shit. I don't know, bro. And that's a lot of shit that y'all niggas do. Y'all allow non-colored women to speak on colored women who fight for us all the fucking time. But where do you see some of them other motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, in the jails protesting for us and in the streets marching for us every time one of us get shot, every time one of us get wrongfully sentenced, or every time some other shit happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't ever really defend black women. But you know, the real, the real we defended that situation. We already know what it is. And if you didn't, bro, and you allowing that shit to go on, bro, like, that, that, that's why you corny, you trash, whatever. Nick Young. So he put out a tweet the other day saying, people mad at six died for snitching, but watch the survivor R. Kelly in, you know, finding Neverland, or, or was it even Neverland? I, I, I don't know. First of all, shut up, nigga, because, like, that, that has nothing to do, <laughs> that has nothing to do with the other, you know what I'm saying? Like, 6 9 he snitched. They survived in R. Kelly. They talked about their experience of abuse with R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are two totally different situations. I don't know what you thought, <laughs> what point you thought you were going to make with that tweet, but you didn't make a tweet, so you need to go back, try that again, and, 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 and just shut the fuck up. You should have just sat there and ate your food. Like, 50 Cent here at Marie. <laughs> uh, and their ongoing feud on social media. So, so for those who don't really know about their beef, um, so l last year Tierra Marie had a very uh, compromising video of her <laughs> um, out on, you know, what I'm saying out on social media, and um, and that very compromising video happened to be posted by Fifty Cent, who happens to be. Tierra's ex's friend, you know what I'm saying? So he reposted the video or whatever, and she filed a lawsuit against her ex and 50 Cent. Um, the, the lawsuit that she filed against 50 Cent, it was, it ended up getting thrown out. Uh, I'm just saying, it ended, up getting, it ended up getting thrown out. So she was ordered to pay 50 Cent 30K, and <laughs> she's not paying 50 Cent his money. So, Everybody knows that 50 Cent is a troll. And 50 Cent, he, 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 he trolls Tierra at least like a few times every week. You know what I'm saying? So he trolled her. He won his money. She's like, nigga, you ain't getting it. <laughs> nigga, you ain't getting it. But you know what, though? 50 Cent, I used to follow him on IG. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, he was a troll. But like, he's considered to be a troll. And, you know what I'm saying, I like trolling, you know what I'm saying, like, I fuck with people who be trolling, talking their shit for fun, but, like, it's the difference between trolling and just being a bully. This nigga just always, bro, just always didn't know somebody, bro, and always just talking shit and disrespecting women and all that shit, bro, like, he just, this nigga's disrespectful as shit, you know what I'm saying, like, and, like I said, it's a fine line between trolling and just going and just ODing with it, you know what I'm saying? This nigga is like past the border of ODing it. What's your idea if he sends money? Uh, uh, IDK, that's up, in, that's up in the air. We'll find out on next episode of Dragon Ball Z. The next topic. Congrats to Chance the Rapper and his wife. Um, they recently got married two days ago. And, um, you know, speaking of that, um, Kevin Kanye was, you know, invited to the wedding. They ended up coming late. And they had to watch the wedding from the fucking sideline. And, I hate to be that person, but it's like, I feel like you showing up to somebody's wedding late, like you're trying to make some type of grand entrance, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't know, bro, but like, if, if that was my situation, bro, and somebody was late for my wedding, bro, they ain't allowed to come in. That's what it is. Like, you know the time, you know what I'm saying? You know the time, you know what it is, so... 
Peter, or be fucking squirt. OG Mako. Um, so what else know OG Mako, bro? You bug it. And you probably wasn't even like old enough to comprehend what the fuck was going on back in 2014. Cause bitch, you guessed it was my shit, bro. <laughs> that was my shit. So yeah, um, he is fighting a skin eating disease. Um, he put out a video last week, you know, pretty much coming out with it, coming forward with it, and, you know, pretty much telling everybody what he's dealing with, you know, with this disease. And, you know, many prayers out to him, cause that's, oof, that ain't no joke, bro. That ain't no joke, that don't look like no joke. So yeah, many prayers, you know, thoughts and prayers go out to him, that, you know, he at least gets better. Um, I'm on, I'm on Twitter the other day, and, um, I just see, like, everybody just up in arms about um, upcoming rapper The Baby. And I, I heard of him a few, like a few months back, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I didn't really hear about him from his music. I heard about him from some shit that happened. Like he shot somebody at Walmart and you know what I'm saying? He was clear, he was clear of his charges. And me trying to catch up with everything that's going on now, um, I had to, I wouldn't go listen to his music. And his music was it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, you know what I'm saying? I fucked with it. But here's my thing. We have a habit of how do I say this? We have a habit of making someone blow up and dropping them for the next big thing. So I'm hoping that this isn't one of those things. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that. Y'all don't just like push this like, I hope y'all don't push like a, a particular single out there and then a few months later, we don't, we don't talk about him like that no more. We talk about the next nigga or the next female. Cause it happens a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all be big enough artists just to move on to the next artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, hate to say it, but y'all did it with Young and May. Woo -woo. We pushed that hard as hell, you know what I'm saying? Well, y'all pushed that hard as hell, you know what I'm saying? Like. Y'all pushed food, it was on the radio, it was every fucking where, you know what I'm saying? And she put out, you know, slaps after that. But y'all pushed that as hard as y'all pushed food, you know what I'm saying? Y'all moved on to the next nigga. Y'all did with PMB Rock, you know what I'm saying? Y'all pushed his other music harder, as hard as y'all pushed Sweet. Y'all did that with A Boogie. Y'all don't push his other songs as hard as y'all pushed my shit. Y'all do that with a lot of people. And. I'm just hoping that y'all not doing it with this person. You know what I'm saying? It, I don't know. I don't know like who makes up the criteria of what should be hot and what shouldn't be hot and you know who should be out there, who's the next big thing. I don't know who makes up the criteria, but if you wanna put somebody out there, bro, make sure that you put them out for a minute, bro, because I don't see that much longevity in a lot of these people's careers, because like I said, especially like like this generation of music, bro, like I feel like we don't really create longevity for these artists. Cause like I said, we big up artists and then we drop them and move on to the next big thing. We move on to the next nigga or the next female or the next hot single or the next this and that. And it's like, we hold this expectation up for these people cause they feel like every song that they put out should be like the, their smash. You know what I'm saying? Like we younger me, I feel like niggas was expecting for her to put out a ooh part two and a ooh part three. Like, <laughs> like we don't really, hold them up and keep them up, you know what I'm saying? We don't really hold these artists up and keep them up and keep them in the limelight and, you know what I'm saying, we forget about them pretty much. And, and not to discredit any of the artists that I named, you know what I'm saying, because they all got like good, they all have like a big following, a big fan base, but what I'm saying is, y'all don't push their other songs as much as y'all push the particular songs that got them in the limelight on the forefront. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta be better at that. That's it for today's episode of Bar Talk. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, once again, I appreciate everybody, for well, the very few people who do support my content and who do tune in every single week. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep pushing no matter if I get one view. 20 views, like it don't matter. I'm still gonna push these videos because I really don't give a fuck. Somebody will come across this, you know what I'm saying? Somebody is gonna come across this. 
And that's just what it is. I don't give a fuck about the locals that support my shit. Cause I don't give a fuck about y'all. Fuck y'all suck my dick. But what I'm saying is, I'm pushing to get somewhere globally. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be more local. I ain't trying to be a local ass nigga. I don't just want a jersey buzz. I want a buzz every fucking world. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put a message out. Mad people everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what that is. Like I said, man. Thanks to men supporting me every single week. You know, it's the very people who do. If you don't, you're missing out. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, stay safe, stay positive. Stay in the house, learn what you grade, bro. Can't stress us enough. Uh, and yeah, that's it for today's episode. I'll see y'all next week, episode 12. And I'm out. <laughs>